Hello everybody, welcome back and welcome to another episode of The Streets of Blackpool. Today's street is going to be Bond Street. Bond Street, small street, central Blackpool and it's off New Bonnie Street which is a street walking now now. New Bonnie Street starts on the promenade there, you can see, corner of Coral Island in the Golden Mile Amusements and it runs all the way down there to the end of Central Drive where you can see the Castle Pub. But today we're going down here, down Bonnie Street. Some single lane traffic lights here, little country flow going on, whatever you call it. Pretty much a small, small street here. We've got the back of the Golden Mile Amusements. On this side we've got the site of the old Bonnie Street Market which was set up for years and years and it's recently closed. We can peek through that little hole in the fence and have a look at that bit. There's another hole in the fence there but that's kind of covered with that but we can peek through that way and see that end. There you go. Let's just carry on wandering down here and looking at how Bonnie Street looks today. There's some work going on on the back of the Sea Life Centre but it looks like they're putting a whole new facade on it on the back side of it at least there's scaffolding there going up probably going to take a while that's why we've got this single lane traffic yeah let's just take a look there that's the back of the Golden Mile Amusement swing back there to get that look of the upper tower we can hear the machinery going on here. We've taken all the old stuff down. Getting ready to put the new stuff up. Here we've got a big gap so we can just keep right into the old Bonnie Street Market side. This is all the construction parking for the Blackpool Central development. So yeah, look. You can see all the old concrete underneath. So that looks like industrial outdoor wood chip. Hands up if you've got wood chip in your house. I've got a crap ton of that stuff. And I don't like it, I'm not a wood chip fan I've got to say. But it's practical and durable and it's so much effort to take it off the walls. I just paint over it. Every single time I give the room to look at paint, I just paint over it. And it's been painted over many times in the last 20 odd years. That wood should be my house. It's not coming off, folks. It's there for the rest of the time, for as long as the house stands. And we've got the Bond Street car park, Bond Street entrance. That's the old wall where the market was behind there. We've got the car park there. There's a lot of artwork on that car park around there. Of course, that's all going to be going away with the new central development. You can see part of the new facade that's fitted there. And look at that, it's an absolutely gorgeous shade of blue. I'm sure it'll be decorated nicely with all like sea like stuff. We can peek down there, we can see the west facing side of the Blackpool development, the Blackpool Central Development car park, the old police station there, that's going to be coming down, that's going to be a good old demolition to film isn't it, that's going to be a lot of fun filming that. And this side here, we can see some land. What's going on down there? We've got the Bonnie Street Bridge there, that's also going to be coming down. Part of this new development. Still walk over the bridge as it stands now. The walkway through there, a little alley, whatever you'd call it, leading onto the promenade. And there we've got the number 13. Did that used to be the pump and trungeon? I think it did, you know. 
fact, I'm pretty sure it did. I get my pubs mixed up. I'm not really a pub person, and I get the names mixed up sometimes, and I always mix up the pump and trungeon and the mitre. But I think that one was the one that used to be the pump and trungeon. And as I always say, if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments. It's not really the back size of all the promenade oak arcades and stuff here now. I think arcades were a lot more fun in my day because you had the machines like Space Invaders and Pac-Man and Gorf and Galax... I don't know what it was called. All those Galaxians, whatever it was called. They were great fun. And the last time I filmed down here, somebody told me the obvious thing that I hadn't even thought of because I'm a little dense sometimes. These pebbles are there, so people don't bang their heads on there as they walk across. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't bang my head on there. That's about, that bit's about a foot higher than me because I'm short. But yeah, that's why they're there. There we can see the Chapel Street car park. We can peep through actually, so look in. Very empty today, folks. Look at that. You cannot see much through there. It's pretty darn empty. But in the summer, it has been completely packed. I'm sure that dude cycling past just said he liked my shoes. But I didn't quite catch what he said. But I'm going to show you my shoes because they are cool. Look, they're kickers and they're in like a metallic rose gold. And they got them from the charity shop. They were either five quid or eight quid. Can't remember which. But an amazing bargain either way. We are getting to the end of Bonnie Street now, guys. Happy Days Amusement Centre. There. Everything's closed off right now because it's December. So you're not going to get many arcades and stuff open. Two cellar there. Of course, those of us that are a little bit older will remember when the Doctor Who exhibition used to be just here on this side. And the entrance was actually on the prom, but the exit was down some steps because it was downstairs from what I remember, here on Chapel Street. And the door was always open and all the kids just used to go down the stairs for free because, yeah, you just nip down there. But there did used to be another building on the edge of here that I'm guessing would have finished around where I'm walking now on this pavement. And that's sort of kind of before my time. It either got knocked down before I was born or it got knocked down when I was a baby. Either way. I don't really remember it. I've seen it in pictures and in my head I think it looks familiar. But I think that's just having seen the pictures. So yeah. That is going to be it for this video folks, because we've finished on Bonnie Street now, so as usual thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video you know what to do, just hit that like button, and maybe even subscribe if you're not really subscribed, and I shall see you all very soon in the next video, goodbye.